Reese, what are you doing here? Checking security. You're supposed to start at the Burger Hut today. I'm going. Great. See, I knew you'd come to your senses. Roy, this is my sister, Teresa. Teresa, this is Roy. He owns the Burger Hut. Hi. <clears throat> is this your uh, first waitress job then, Teresa? Yes. Yeah, well, she learns real fast, and she'll work real hard. Won't you? Yeah, real hard. Hey, Luis. Sam. What's wrong? Look, it's about Ethan Crane. Why would you say that? Well, you weren't too happy when I told you not to arrest him yesterday. No, I wasn't. It just seems like every time I turn around, he's there. What happened now? Well, my sister Teresa keeps having this crazy dream about Ethan Crane showing up on the doorstep and changing her life. <laughs> that is a pretty wild dream. Yeah. Now I laughed too until he showed up last night. He did? Why? I had a message from my mother. It just kind of freaked me out. You know, last person I want my sister getting involved with is a crane. Yeah, that family's caused nothing but heartache for too many people. You got some beef with them, Sam? Who doesn't? Anyway, I wouldn't worry about Teresa. It's not like any of the cranes would condescend to mingle with us little people. Yeah, you're right. Teresa's working over at the Burger Hut. There's not a chance in hell a crane would show up there. What are you doing? I'm uh, trying to find information on Grace's past. I... Haven't you tried to do that before? Yeah, but not for years. I always hit a dead end. It occurred to me to try the internet. It's a good idea. Hey, check out the missing persons chat room. Maybe there's a friend or relative. Hey, how's that search going? I mean, so far, no one in the chat room has responded. Well, what message did you type in? Desperately seeking information on a woman named Grace, rescued from a Boston fire 20 years ago. That was after you rescued her from the fire? Yeah, I searched pretty regularly over the years, but I always come up empty. And then Grace asked me to stop. Why? Said she was happy with her life and her past didn't matter. But she keeps seeing this little girl and, and when there's no one there. It's like something's haunting her. You think that little girl's someone from her past? Maybe. All I know is my wife is upset and hurting. I'll do anything I can to help her. There's got to be somebody, a, a family member, a friend who's been searching for Grace all these years. I... Where are you? Got you some coffee, Sam. Thanks, Louise. Look, look, if somebody here says they know Grace. Oh, geez, I don't believe it. <sighs> no, my Grace is not a wire-haired fox terrier. She's my wife, and I'm trying to find information about her past. Whoops, sorry. At least they apologized. Yeah, what well, beats the clown here thinks it's funny to jerk desperate people around with phony leads. There's some sick people out there. Uh, tell me about it. Damn! There's got to be somebody out there who's been searching for Grace all these years. Maybe not. Luis, a person doesn't go missing for 20 years without somebody, a family member, a friend, wondering what happened to her. Look, if Grace had amnesia when you rescued her from that fire 20 years ago in Boston, how'd you know her name was Grace? I found a partially burnt piece of paper in her pocket with the name Grace on it. So we assumed her name was Grace. There goes that theory. Hasn't she had any memories, flashbacks of 20 years? None. At least none that she's told me about. Why wouldn't she tell you if she remembered something? Because that's my Grace. She doesn't want to bother anybody with her problems. I wouldn't even know she'd seen the little girl if Eve Russell hadn't told me. Well, he was a doctor. What'd she say? Well, she thinks it's possible that Grace is starting to remember some of her past. 
Grace tries to slough it off, said she's overtired, but I think she's scared. Scared of something from her past? It's possible. There's something inside her that's crying out for help, and if I don't discover what it is soon, I... I'll do whatever I can to help, Sam. Thanks, Louise. It's just so damn frustrating watching the woman you love in pain and not being able to do anything. Oh, man. Sooner or later, something will turn up about Grace's past. Luis, you and I have been cops long enough to realize that there's some cases out there that go unsolved. I just pray to God this is not one of them. <laughs>